Okie dokie. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, I thought I'd go ahead and um, showcase a team that um, that I actually I actually did a video on some time ago. Um, I don't remember much about it, but uh, be but before I continue on, um, like I usually do, I'm gonna have some music playing in the background. Um, this time around, it's gonna be the Savage Blush, uh, Ether Dome. It's I think it just came out yesterday or the day before, but it's like um. Kind of like 60s retro psychedelic rock music, I guess. Um, I only heard it one time, and I only heard a small amount of it, but I like what I heard, though. Um, and then secondly, um, the the music is going to be processed, for lack of a better word, a little differently. Normally, what I do, normally when I do these, I just, um, I basically have my mic do double duty. My microphone, I mean. Um, it... It picks up, you know, both my voice and the music coming out of the speaker. Well, I'm gonna, I, I think I tried out checking out one of my earlier earlier videos, and the sound looks like the the sound is like, like a second or two out of sync. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna this time all the uh, the music and sound is gonna be coming through the uh, it's gonna be coming through desktop audio. Or it's gonna be coming through the computer itself and not coming out of the speaker. Or my external speaker, I should say. So I'm gonna see if that um I'm gonna see if that cures the uh, sync issue. Um if it does, then I for these videos then I'm probably gonna have to go back to go back to the way I used to do it. Um just turn off the external speaker and then have everything come out internal. You kinda get the idea. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, get this music going. Okay. So let me kill a window or two. Okay, so, but like I said, I did a, I did a video some time ago. Originally, it was about the Johnny Walker team. For those that are curious, it's, um, George, the uh, George Thorogood song, I Drink Alone, it had a lot, it had a line in there, like, just me and my pal Johnny Walker, and his brother's black and red, we drank alone, that one, so I, anyway, um, later on, uh, DJ Screw, um, suggested I make it a, make a change, and add Queen Ash in there instead, so, this is, um, so, this is my current one, the, the, the rock band, as I like to call them, um, Queen Ash on bass and vocals, uh, the Twin Kings on a dual guitar, and then me on the drums, so, and plus they're all, they're all brown, rock, get it? So, but, um, like I said, I, I did a video on, I did a video, like, some time ago, I don't remember much about it. I think um, they showed me making a change to the Johnny Walker team, and I also had the uh, yeah I had the uh, pea shooter. I had my pea shooter team on there as well, showcasing that. But again, the main video is going to be about the rock band. Um, I did today's stream. Uh, all right, let me rephrase that. I did most. Yeah, I did most of today's stream using just this team only. So, and then I took a, I managed to do, I managed to do my PvP run, I believe only using, using my Rock Band team, no one else. I mean, I still lost a few. So, kind of sound checking right now. But, um, I guess it's here. But for those that don't know, I mean, elementalist, I mean, Best class ever, and then you have a uh, bulk, Vulcan's mace, damages an enemy, or I should just say deals damage, then creates a uh, creates a mix of 24 red and brown, because my whole entire team is Nexus. This is something else that kind of occurred to me during my stream. Um, yeah, and then you have King Helidor. Now the rest of my team. For the most part, it's exactly the same. Um, reduce damage from skulls by 50%. Uh, they create a brown gem, which 
basically they're creating three of them. Three brown gems a turn. Blessing of Stone. Um, giving 10 life to, to the whole team with matching brown gems. Again, I have two of these. Then dealing, uh, dealing true damage to the first enemy. And um, hopefully I can remember to... Uh, in case I don't remember to say this during battle. But um, this part that knocked him to the back. This is gonna, this is great for um, manipulating the opponent's team. Like, if I need to get at a certain troop to take him out immediately, this really helps right here. And then create three elemental stars. Um, it basically you match with uh, brown, green, red, and blue, and it destroys gems in an X pattern. I'll, you'll you'll see it when I demonstrate it. So, uh, but. I, but I have two of them. And then Queen Ash. Same thing. Creates a brownie. Um, skull damage reduction, which what makes this team one of the things that makes this team great is uh troop effects that uh move your that move your that uh move opposing troops around don't bother me as much. Because my whole team basically does the same thing. So but with her. She's uh, increasing everybody's magic, the magic browns. So. And she deals heavy splash damage, which is, this is a very buggy, buggy ability. Um, I, like if there's only, if there's only one enemy left and you cast this, she won't hit him unless he is the uh, second last. But sometimes I can, sometimes you can cast it when when uh, two troops are at the top of the top of the formation, it'll still work. Yeah, I I did a I checked out the forums on this. There was this kind of long putting your clothes on the lower peg kind of explanation as to why it works and doesn't. But, but anyway, I'm kind of kind of going off. But we're kind of the same thing here. Pull them to the front. Once again, this this team is great. What I need to single out a certain troop combination of Queen Ash, King Helidor, and I guess to a lesser extent me, like if, if I need a certain troop to stay put, you know, right where he's standing, just cast this instead, you know, so, and then she creates three elemental stars as well, and then another, another good thing that I kind of noticed during the stream, I've said this in other streams, but my entire team is from Nexus, I don't, I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think I have any other team, like, Taz from Vault, and these guys are Guardians, so they're all from different locations. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, my Johnny Walker team, uh, for today's Tower of Doom, um, DJ Screw recommended I use this, which, I think, um, no offense, no offense to him, but I probably would have figured that out when I actually got on the, uh, got in there because um, you could only use red troops I'd have gone to these guys immediately but again he said the same he said the same thing but I mean even my uh, main team my three matches team he's from Nexus she's from the Deep Hive Drifting Sands and the Scales so but I think this is the only team I can think of where everybody is from the same location Yeah, Kingdom Bonuses. Here I am. They're getting all these because they're all from the same place. Um, okay, not okay, not so much. Not so much because I have two kings in the group. So three unique. But you, you can see here. Getting those bonuses. Actually, this is... Probably my first time in a long time actually being in this area. And then over here, in fact, yeah, I checked this out earlier uh, when I was uh, working on uh, setting up this video. I'm, I mean, my team is getting a triple team bonus on this. 
Okay, two times. You know, 25. And that don't matter. But yeah, it's so they got all these they got all these bonuses because and that to say nothing of uh saw this too. Although I don't know what this means. Uh team bonus tier four, but again, my whole entire team is from Nexus. So I don't I guess it was probably in the bonuses screen. In the uh troops menu. So But let me um let me go ahead and do a quick demo. And I gotta I gotta do this fast. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to find the last place I was at. One there. I'll just pick White Elm. Once again, um, there is no sound coming out of my external speaker. Um, I checked out one of my earlier YouTube videos, and the sound sounded kind of out of sync by a second or two, so I'm kind of testing to see if I'll do it this way, the way I used to do it, rectify some problem. But anyway, getting back on subject, you're, you're prioritizing brown matches, obviously, but after that, you're looking for purples. Um, Purples, try to get him up and running, and then red. And I believe it is in that order. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn my headphones up a little higher. Yeah, see, that's what I'm that's what I'm using right now, headphones. And they are the they're the cheap ass ones too. It was one of the reasons why uh, all the music and stuff is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my external speaker and stuff, which is. I'm not getting my surges. Should be fine match there. All right, so I'm using my controller right now. So it's gonna create a mix of 24 uh, brown and red gems. Oh, and it's also gonna start a firestorm as well. So um, I'll just pick him. Now, uh, uh, let me uh, explain a few weaknesses that this, that this team has. You kind of saw it there. You're creating gems. Those that have played Queen Beatrix for any amount of time, you could be shooting yourself in the foot big time. If you don't get a four match out of all that, your opponent gets to help himself. Now, now again, one big beauty of this uh, team as I said uh, about five minutes ago, is you can manipulate your opponent with this. So, for example, if I wanted to, if Ascendance was a big time priority, like you had to, you had to take her out first, and Queen Ash is up, we'll start by, I'll get her up on top, and now we'll just deal some true damage to her. Oh, and uh, one strength this team does have is, uh, is being webbed while it won't shut the at all. Let me rephrase that. It'll um, it'll ha it'll hamper the damage, but won't completely shut it down. So, because if you look on the right, the boost ratio plus 42, you're still gonna deal that damage. So, and then we'll, we'll get, some true get some true damage on her. Oh, never mind. Those guys are the big priority, angry mobs. So, so we'll cast that, knock the top guy down, we'll put off angry mob at the top. Uh, now, hopefully I can remember to talk about elemental stars, but you ideally want to leave the red and brown gems on the board. Um, if you see any purple, 
or yellow for uh, four or five matches. Go ahead and clear those out. Anyway, we're gonna. But yeah, like I said, Angry Mob, big priority. And we got one on the board, so. And then for those that don't know how elemental stars work, you can match them with brown, blue, green, or red. And uh, they destroy gems in an X pattern. I won't be able to do it here because there's nothing I can use it on. But. So. But I want to try to get up. Uh, I want to try to get Angry Mob back up on top. So, to do that, lock him to the back. Queen Ash. Queen Ash will pull him back up to the top. And then we'll take him out. So, but like I said, this team is great for pulling off that kind of thing. Um, for the vault runs, uh, Cedric Sparklesack, I think he's in the second position from the bottom. Like where this high paladin is. When I, when I do vault runs with this team, that's a big goal. Try to get him to the top so we can start wailing on him. Well, he's not debuffed and he's about to, he's not debuffed and he's about to get his ability off and then Queen Ash. If you got two guys on the bottom and they're both about to go, great finisher. Brown, brown, and then purple. At least until you can get the uh, the mace going. Green as well. Now, so, let's see what else. Then uh, I'll probably target Luna. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll go ahead and target Luna just to that. All right, so Queen Ash is up. So again, um, I think Luna is going to be a big priority target. But yeah, like I said, um, when when you can, uh, try to clear out any purple and yellow four and five matches because again, elemental stars don't work on them. So just as soon as you get that out of there, get the or just as soon as you get those colors out of there. And you only need purple to get the mace up and running. So, so let's go ahead and pull her up. Okay. Then she's gone. Then I don't know what. Oh, just a bard. Okay, so I ain't worried about him. Um, I don't. Yeah. Oh wait, this is a, this is an anti-tower troop. So now I want to get um I want to get Luna up one. So to do that, go down one. And now Luna will be in the middle. So the way this should work is it should pull her up. No, and we'll. Yeah, it's... And 
again, but like always, when PvPing, I stay away from the elementals classes. Actually, this is almost, and I actually made a video about this. This is almost like my um, Pippin the Host team. You're clear of the elementalist. I I don't really want to pick on the little guy. Hey, one one. Oh, and on top of that, so as hypocritical as it might sound, this is my op. I also have this very same team on defense as well. Uh, it seems to be pretty popular. Um, other players like to fight it. Yeah, what a uh, when I had a, if I can find it, I call it my giving back team. My giving back team. You know, I got a whole team of fire bombs. I used to have a treasure team in here somewhere, but um, I think it was free gold, but I'm always having to use the treasures to upgrade the uh, underground kingdoms for my dolls and stuff. But yeah, um, but you know, the, the firebomb teams, not very many people invade them. Uh, my, um, my treasure team, very few people go after them, but quite a few people come after this. But, um, part of that too, they may be, they may just, they may just be seeing Molson's Maze and King Helidors, but not Queen Ash, because there's a game bug where the bottom player is always replaced by a Lance Knight. It again. Oh, bullet. So, but this is another this is another weakness that the rock band has because um because of all that healing you probably saw. They are very vulnerable, very vulnerable to being devoured. And then also before I forget yet again, they're also very vulnerable to being frozen because. For those who don't know, um, the the wording on Frozen is kind of confusing. Maybe it'll come up. But um, yeah, it they word it wrong. It isn't the troop himself that's frozen. It's the colors they represent that are frozen. So what that means is, if you could just freeze, or if you could freeze just one just one of my whole team, it's gonna be as if the entire team is frozen because we're all using the same color, brown. So, it isn't like, say, my free matches team. I mean, you could probably freeze one of these three here, the three greenies, but as long as you're just making, as long as you can get a, a brown four match, you'll be, you know, you'll still have another turn. Big vulnerabilities there, but like I said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this battle again. Normally, I don't like picking on the little hell, I wouldn't even call him a little guy 14,000. This looks like a pretty amateurish team, though, for the court, but then again, I might up getting my ass handed to me in a high hat. It's happened before. So, as you probably expect, Bullet is a very high priority target. Yeah. Um, I should have it. Yep. Somebody dinged. And they all got cleansed. Oh, also, another weakness. They are also very vulnerable to being stunned. Because um, this is one of those teams where 
Their traits are just as important, if not more so, than the uh, abilities they cast. I have another team that's like at Skull Falls. Um, if I can remember to, I'll show that. But yeah, really, I gotta, I gotta shut down soon, so... <laughs> that's a whole sea of red, because we need those brown gems, and we need that life, so... And with her, we need that extra magic as well. But like I said, I think um, I should be able to one-shot the rest of these. So. In case I didn't met in case I didn't mention earlier one one big strength that these guys have is again because of uh, all four of these pretty much do the same thing if my team gets knocked around gets jumbled around it's less of an issue because they all they all pretty much do the same thing it isn't like you know, they all, except for these two here, you got Leprechaun blows, you know, blows the board, you got, you know, blows all the brown gems, all the green, but, you know, they all have a specific role. Something like this, very vulnerable to being knocked around. Todd's got to be at the top, but if he gets pushed down to the bottom, you know, it, it's kind of okay having him on top, but you get the idea, though, so... But, alrighty, but that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, just Oh, and I forgot to mention at the start of the stream, um, I'm about to work on my uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog post, so this is one of the reasons why I made this video. Um, this is, you know, like a, I guess kind of a follow-up on the uh, Rock Band team. But anyway, I'm kind of talking to myself hoarse right now, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But thanks for, drop, thanks for uh, checking me out, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.